Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how a contactor works and how to wire it. Contactors works very similar to a relay. You got one terminal called A1 and one called A2. In some few cases, you will also see them being named just A and B. It is mostly common amongst older contactors. These two terminals is the ones that will make the coil trigger. The coil voltage can range all from 24 voltage DC up to 230 voltage AC. The contactor will have the information written on it. The contactors I will use in this video are 24 voltage DC. So to make our coil trigger, we need to wire the minus on A2, and once I let 24 voltage plus go to A1 the coil will trigger. Once it trigger it will make the three terminals on the top close and let through the current you give it to the other side. The contactors can also have additional normally open or normally closed terminals too. Like this contactor got a normally closed terminal, which will be closed as long as the coil is not triggered, but as fast as it gets triggered it will open up again. What contactors is mostly used for is to make a three phases let through to a motor, but we don't have to use them that way. I will demonstrate a contactor wired like this, with just 24 voltage to a couple of lamps, and I will put a switch to the normally open contact block. It will be used to trigger the coil. As you can see the red lamp that is connected to the normally closed terminal will do the opposite to the other lamps. In case we would need to trigger the coil manually we can do it from this little switch too. Let's try out another contactor. I got this ABB contactor too. The only difference on this one is that it have just four normally open terminals. Let's try it out. The coil can also be manually triggered here by pressing the white button. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.